This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. In the past, we've looked at Chart Kick and making some nice charts. And this one's not too bad, it gives us the information that we need. But one problem with this is that this chart is static. There is no interactivity other than being able to hover over the different points. And with Charkick under the hood is using the chart.js library. And so in this episode, I want to look at removing Charkick as a gem dependency of my application and just use the chart.js library directly. In addition to that, I also want to make this chart interactive. So it's going to look like this, where we have a similar thing. We can still hover over all the data points. However, we're also able to then pan it. So as we pan it, it'll then load in more data. And all of this data is being fetched each time we perform an action. So we can zoom out and then it'll load up more data. And we can zoom out a lot more and it'll load in all that data as well. And to do this, we're going to use a stimulus controller and the chart.js library. And we are going to be focusing on just a line chart in this episode. However, you can take this concept and apply it to the other different types of charts that Chart.js offers. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.